Hey everybody, thanks for coming to dance with me. I'm Laura and today we're gonna to talk about swivels. I love swivels. They are sexy, they are juicy, they are thick with two C's, they are amazing. They're some of the best things that's ever happened in dance history, in my opinion. They are a follow's calling card, something that distinguishes that person from any other follow. Point is, I've been working on them for a really long time and hopefully I have some stuff to share. But first, thank you people of Patreon for helping to support me and make this video free for everyone in the world, including people like you. I appreciate it a lot. And if you wanna join them, the link's in the description. So this might be news, but everybody's different. Your body's different, what you prefer is different. I'm gonna show you what I do and then take those ideas and find out how you wanna swivel. We're gonna start with some solo work because it's very hard to do anything with a partner if you don't know how to do it on your own. Follow along. Start with twisting. Keep the rhythm moving past the Count rhythm. Nothing but an everyday move with the tasty lick. Don't be slow, come get in the know. It's the hipster's latest skip past the bounce. Mr. Hurdy Gurdy, past the bounce. Pass it on the dirty tap lightly and politely say, Pass it on, pass it on, pass it on its way. Now we're gonna take that same figure and turn it over our right shoulders. breakdown and some drills of what to do on your own, I have a video dedicated to swiveling without a partner and it's linked in the description. Speaking of which, let's add a partner. I'm gonna start by just holding Brooks's hand and twisting. I'm trying to do twists I really like without yanking on him. Swing out and then go back to those twists. When you feel comfortable, swing out again and again. swivels, it is so exciting feeling. Now, if you're not used to swiveling, it might make your swing outs harder at first. There's nothing that says you have to swivel, but if you like them, keep on coming back to them. There's nothing that will make them easier than just repetition. Here are some tips that might help. If you're new to swiveling, you might get lost in all the twisting. Something to keep your bearings, count one of the swing out as twisting towards your right arm or the arm connected to your lead. If you need to, Count it out and twist right on every one. Count eight of the swing out is a great prep for that twist on one. When you get to the end of the swing out, allow your torso and hips to open up on your left side.
It's tempting to abandon the swivels, especially the count two, in order to get to closed position. For that, I have three tips. One, a lot of my travel is during the triple step. Two, Brooks and I don't get to closed position until after three, so we have a ton of time. Three, it's not your job to get to closed position. Relax, take your time, think about your rhythm. On a stylistic level, everyone swivels differently, but here's something I like for me. I think about my hips falling downwards laterally as I twist, so I almost step on the outside of my foot. I feel like this helps me maximize my range. Are swivels just for swing outs? To me, no. I feel like I mainly know when a swing out occurred retrospectively. To me, swivels are whenever you get that end of the swing out feeling. Well, what the heck is that? At the end of the swing out, Brooks backs away and I feel a stretch that causes me to open up on that eight we talked about. That feeling can happen all over the place. Look for it and see what it makes you want to do. swivels with a very particular type of swing out. The swing out that Brooks and I generally do when we're together. But depending on who you dance with, you might get a swing out with a whole different feeling and that could change your swivels and that's fine. More than fine, that is great. That can bring your awareness and your ability and your style to a whole different level. Listen to your body and learn from what it tells you. I hope you had fun and learned a lot. If you did, click like, subscribe, and comment and all that YouTube stuff. If you like the music, it's the Brooks Promo Orchestra and you can find a link to it in the description. And half of the money that I get from this YouTube channel goes towards organizations that support African diasporic artists and art because Lindy Hop is a black dance and that's super important. And the best way to learn how to do that dance and get those twists on mm, 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 is dance.